What is up, bad bad? Okay, so what we going to do, what we going to do, is we're going to learn how to bring in models. Um, how to prompt a little bit, just a little, a few little details, and how to bring these into something like Unreal and Daz, okay? Um, okay, so first we're going to prompt. We're going to prompt. Let's try, like, statues or something, figurines, okay? Something cool. Um, a, a... Anime figurine statue uh, of a uh, woman monster or something. Comma 4K. Let's try something like that. High, high, high resolution octane. Octane renderer. Octane renderer means like uh, it's it's just like a, a renderer that it kind of knows. I think you can say any kind of renderer. Uh, realistic. Uh, and that's it. Let's let's see what we get. Okay, we got a couple. Not too bad, Lof. Not too bad. We've got a little. I don't know which one. This one looks alright. That one looks cool too. Okay, let's try this one. Let's just see. Ugh. Oh shit. Okay, let's try uh, another one. Let's just see what they look like. They're not very detailed, are they? Look at that. Oh. Alright, and let's say variations of this one. Let's see if we can get something half decent. Okay, let's see what that is. I say what I say, sorry. What I say, sorry. Come on, bring it. Alright, and this is it. Look at that. Look at that detail, Larry. Look at that detail. Right, let's try something else then. Alright. Uh, let's try uh, anime figure. Fig, fig, figure statue. Realistic. 4K detailed high res. Okay, let's just try something like that. Okay, see what it does. Okay, I got a couple more here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what uh, 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 I. <sighs> let's see. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Jeez, like. Let's try some variations. Got some variations here in a loaf. Uh, there's a couple of statues, look at that. So there, there. Okay, let's try, uh, huh, this one. Is this, yeah, okay, let's try. Whoa. Um, man, this is, it's not that easy, huh? I mean, for prototyping, this is awesome. Uh, let's try one more. Anime statue. Clean. Accurate. Okay. A real engine. Let's just try. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Now we got a couple of things. They look great from afar. Eh? <laughs> they look so good from afar. Okay, let's try this one. And there we go. That's what they are up close. Whoa. Okay, you know what? Damn it. Let's just let's just take it. Okay, I'm gonna hit. Okay, let's see what they got for variations, just quickly. There we go. They got a couple of variations. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this one's like. Come on, something good. Something good. Anything good. Anything at all. Okay, yeah, okay. And let us uh, make high resolution, okay? So I'm gonna make this into a high resolution model and let's see what we can do with it, okay? Okay, I also made this one. 
Uh, here's the prompt detailed figure. Okay, and I'm. Uh, <laughs> well, what can we do here? Let's try a different one. These are the couple. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's make this one high res too. Okay. Let's see what we get from the prompt high res. Now, often you might see your models when you're converting to high res, uh, they get stuck at 95%. I don't know why. All you got to do is just reload the page and you get you good. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the high res. There we go. There we go. Look at that quality. <laughs> They're good. They're good. Look at this, man. Look at this quality. Look at that face. Blah. Okay, so like we said, it's not there yet, but okay. Let's bring him into Unreal and Deus, see what they're like, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, custom, and I'm going to do it for, uh, uh, you can do it for, un <sighs> yeah, we can do it for Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine, we're going to retopologize. Let's go high, because we want to do it as big things, and FPX, yeah, we're good. We could do US, USD, yeah, supports USD, oh, okay, well, let's just do FPX for now, and we're going to download that one, and then we're going to download the other one. Right, that one's done, let's go to this other extraordinary, beautiful model, look at that, let's retopologize, high, and download, it takes very quick to download, so it's gear. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll be back once these are done. Okay, once you download them, you'll get like two zip folders. Uh, I downloaded two, so I got two zip folders, but all you gotta do is you gotta just right click on them and say show more options if you're in Windows 11 and say extract here. Just extract them, people. Just extract them. Then you get all this crap. Look at that. Look at here. Let's see what we get. We get the model, we get the uh, metallic, the normal, the albedo, and the roughness. Cool, okay, so we got all the maps that we need. Nice, let's continue. Okay, so let's try DAS first, right? We're gonna say file, we're gonna say import, and we're gonna go get our model, okay? Open up your directory where it is, and here are the two models that I've got, right? So if I import it, this is what's going to happen. Let's see here. Version, blah, blah, blah. Properties, include, rotation, include animations. They don't have joints, so we're good with all of this stuff. We can leave them off. Polygons include polygon groups. Yeah, that uh, seems good. That seems good. And there's our model. Boom. Okay. If your model does not open up in DAS. If you cannot import it, like it imports and you see mesh there and everything, but you don't see a model, uh, for some reason you need to go into something like Blender and just import the model there and save it back out as an FBX, okay? But this seems to work. Right, next steps, let's get the textures on. Click on your mesh, go to uh, surfaces, and over here, just click on your mesh here, and you'll see diffuse, diffuse, glossiness, all this kind of stuff there. Beautiful, mate. And what you can do here, mate, what we could do here is you can just literally drag and drop. So this is pretty cool. Uh, which one is it, though? Which one is it? Which one did we import? I don't know. This one, okay. So for diffuse color, you can just drag and drop your diffuse color. Bam. Straight on the thing. Glossiness is your roughness. Okay, so you can chuck it in there. And you've got your Amy. Come on. Come on. Where is it? There we go. There's your glossiness. Okay, so you can put your glossiness using the map. What else we got me? We got a normal. You could just go over here and you can type normal. Normal. And there's your normal map. And then from there, we can just bring in the normal map. Click it. Shove it inside there. Boom. Now you've got some normals going. Look at that. Look at that. If you scroll down, there's your normal. So pretty cool. Uh, do we have any other maps for this thing? We got a metallic. Let's see if we got a metallic here. Metal. No, we don't have a metallic because this is probably roughness specular. But if you use other materials from DAS, you'll get options to change it to metallic. Whatever, we're just using the default as you import. And there we go. There it is. Okay, so there's your object. I mean, it's it's there. 
it's uh, sitting nice. Obviously, you can mess around with these these things here. Let's see what it looks like in a render. I've added some just a basic HDRI or lighting, whatever, and you can start seeing uh, what it is. What it is. Let's just do this. Let's just go here and let's just dome orientation. So it is. It is what it is. I mean, over there, it looks pretty damn good. Look at it. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And then, obviously, you can always go in here and you can go back to your uh, surfaces, your base, and you can start messing with things here. It's, it's cool. Specular strength. You can make it more shiny, less shiny. And that's it. You can mess around. You can add different materials to it if you want different effects and whatever. But that's it. You've got something in there. So, yeah, I mean, that's an easy way of importing a prop into Daz. And it doesn't look too bad. I mean, if you use it, if you use it there, you're pretty good, right, Adi? It looks like you, Adi. It looks like you. It looks exactly like you, Adi. Ugly from afar, uglier from closer. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad if you want to just have a prop or something. That's it. Let's get into uh, Unreal Engine. Okay, and if you open up Unreal Engine and you go to a content browser, wherever you want to put it, you can just uh, right-click, say, a new folder, call it Luma Models or, or something. Luma Models. Uh, Double-click to open it. And all you got to do here, all you got to do here is you've got to just grab all the stuff that you, uh, you don't need the PNGs. You can bring them in if you want to see what's what. But it's just dragging and dropping the models and all the textures, okay? And you just drag and drop, move it around until it's solid, boom. And then you'll get something like this, and you can just say import all, okay? Bam. And you've got what it is, what it is. You've got everything what it is. Now, a nice easy way of doing this is it does come with a base material. Uh, we're not going to get into materials right now, but we should get into materials later on. All you got to do, mate, uh, you, you can see one base material there, right? So uh, it's using it for both of these, but we do need two separate materials, right? So if I double click on one of the models, there it is. Uh, I get this, I get this, I get the model, beautiful. And I get this material slot. Double click the material slot and you'll see this happens, right? It's got nothing, nothing, brah. So basically what we want to do is we want to bring in the textures for this. So here I can drag and drop this in. Take the normal, the, what is that? The, oh, that's the metallic, yeah. Okay, so drag all the materials in for that model that you want, okay? And then what you're going to do, what bow and bow is you're going to see here. Okay, so that's the metallic. This is the normal. This is the albedo, and this is the roughness. I take it. Let's just make sure. Uh, yes, that's the roughness. There we go. Okay. So and all you got to do is take the RGB, and you got to just string it up. There's that the albedo RGB. You can chuck it into the base color. You don't need this. You can delete it. Uh, you can take this, which is the metallic, metallic, was it the metallic? It is the metallic, yeah, metallic. And you can chuck that into metallic right there. And this is the normal. Chuck this one, grab it, and just drop it into the normal. And there we go. So now your model should, uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's assigned to the other one, not this one, okay? So I'm going to save this. And then what you can do is you can go back to this little, oh, no, there, okay, all it needed was saving. And there's our model, okay? Now, I'm going to close that, and you can see here that it's assigned it to both of them because this material is assigned to both of them. All I'm going to do here is, first of all, uh, just call this uh, uh, anime girl, fine, okay, so that's the material. I'm going to right click it and say duplicate and I'll say anime boy. Boy. Okay. And I can open up boy. And I can just take anime boy here 
and I can just drag it and drop it onto here, right? Boom. Then I can open it up and I can just replace its maps. So over here I can I can select I can select the uh, albedo, just highlight it. And then I can just go here, right click in this blue area here and say use current texture. Bam. I can go to the metallic of it, highlight it and i can go to the metallic here and just right click and say use current texture Ari. so i think you get the point here there's a normal i like the bastard and use the current texture and then the last one is the roughness i like the roughness right click it and use current texture now i can save this out right i can go back to the model and it's there so that's the beauty of this now. There we go. Now this is a, another project that we're working on. We're going to get this guy looking good. Anyway, I'm just going to use this project for now. And then you can just drag and drop it in. Bam. There's the one. Here's the other. And it's beautiful. I'm going to get this out of the way. And look at that, Ari. Look at that. Look at that, ah, 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 Ari. Look at it beautiful there we go we've got a two beautiful models sitting inside of unreal engine look at that it's beautiful and that's how you would do that okay and then you can just save it out so remember save everything save all and uh in order to save all you can just press this button here in your content browser save all content browser <laughs> uh and save all okay and then you'll get something like this and you can just say save selected and you're good to go it's all saved out and that's it. That's how you get them into Unreal Engine. That's how you get them into Daz. Uh, they look a little scary. No, no. The other thing is materials. You can get more clever with your materials, but we're not going to get that into now. I'll do a separate tutorial saying how to build a basic, nice material so you can customize everything on the fly in a material instance, but not right now. All right, guys. I hope this helps, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.